Strippers suing San Diego's finest, a back and forth battle involving one of the city's most scandalous strip clubs. 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky is live. And Brian, one of the lawsuits involving cheetahs and San Diego officers was apparently just dropped. Well, Steve and Lindsay, while this particular suit has been thrown out, there is still another one at play here. That one alleges that SDPD officers violated the civil rights of several dancers. It's surveillance footage of a vice raid. Officers inside the Cheetah's locker room in Kearney Mesa. I felt like I wasn't even like a human practically and I felt ignored felt violated. A lawsuit filed on behalf of the women says what's happening here, both in 2013 and 2014, is unconstitutional. The women say they were illegally detained while officers photographed their tattoos, some women partially undressed. Just taking a photo of my entire body. While that suit is still alive, another tied to all of this is dead. Cheetahs dropping its lawsuit that had accused SDPD of unfairly revoking its adult entertainment license. The city planning to go after the club for costs connected to the litigation. In a statement, Police Chief Shelley Zimmerman said in part, quote, this confirms our officers conducted legal, proper, and justified inspections. Our police department has a duty to inspect police regulated businesses, including cheetahs, and to enforce the municipal code. But Dan Gillian, an attorney for the club and the dancers, says the fight isn't over. In a statement, Gillian writes, quote, the city is crowing over nothing. The case was dismissed for the business entity was duplicative of the subsequent and more comprehensive case we filed for the entertainers. We are streamlining our legal efforts to force the city of San Diego into compliance with the U.S. Constitution. Brian Schlonsky, 10 News.